Hello folks, this is Aaron Humiston. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Artimation, this is part three of a series of videos that I've been posting about the progress of this project that I'm working on called Artimation. So I recommend that you check out the other two videos so that you can be up to speed with what's going on. For those of you who are up to speed, uh, oh, oh, so much has happened since the last update. So I decided to take Artimation to the internet and oh man, there were so many people who volunteered for the project. Technically it took about two days to get enough artists to volunteer their time and effort for the project, but really the bulk of the artists jumped in in that first day. I was just bombarded with emails. So many people wanted to get in on this and I was just floored. You guys are just awesome. And these artists are from all over the world. It was, it really was incredible. I started distributing frames on a first come first serve basis. Some of the artists showed me their work, which was awesome, but a lot of the artists didn't give me a link, didn't give me anything. They were just like, hey, I'd like to help. And I said, sure. And I sent them a frame not knowing who they were or what their art was like. And so I, I dubbed them as mystery artists, as in like, I have no idea what to expect out of these guys. Then the drawings started coming in and there were so many awesome drawings. Go check out the blog. It's uh, art-animation.blogspot.com. I have a lot of the drawings up there and look for yourself. The drawings are amazing. Hopefully it can give you an idea of what to expect with the final animation. I really think this is gonna be a really cool looking project. It's so amazing to see so many artists from all over the world all kind of come together uh, over this little animation. I'm really excited and I hope you guys are too. This is really cool. It took just a little over a day to get all the artists I needed and they kept coming. People just kept saying, hey, can I get in? Can I get in? Can I get in? And I had to say, no, I'm sorry, the, they're all full. But uh, it's not that I'm a pessimist, but I always try to be prepared for the worst. So I was thinking, well, you know, if an artist can't complete their drawing, I can have this backlog of standby artists that can complete that drawing for them. So all the extra artists that asked to join, I said, no, unfortunately all the frames are in, but can I hold you as a standby artist in case one of the other artists can't complete their drawing? And so I got this nice little cushion to fall back on of other artists to help me out. And that cushion just kept growing and growing and growing. And some of the artists sent me a link to their work and these artists are just so good. <laughs> and I'm like, man, it is a real shame to, uh, to not include these guys in. It, and so, you know, I kept running with it and it just got me thinking. I have a personal uh, philosophy when it comes to my own personal projects and it's the one pass rule. When I finish my work, I allow myself one extra pass, one extra time to go back over my work, make any changes, any fixes that I feel needs it. And once I do that one pass, then it's done. I gotta just put it out there because of, you know, if I keep fiddling with my artwork, it's never gonna get out there. So I, I allow myself one pass, make those little last minute changes and then send it out. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna do that with automation. So I went back in, found a little section in my animation that uh, I could expand on. And uh, it actually was a little section in the animation where I was like, I really feel like the character could do a little more with this, but you know, I need to, I need to get this thing finished. So I kind of kept it simple. I kept the motion simple and I didn't add in all the extra stuff that I thought, you know, would be cool. So here I am doing my second pass. I went back to that section. I threw in that extra motion in there that I kind of wanted to stick in there to begin with. And there was my second pass and it added in almost 50 extra frames. So I've got this nice uh, cushion of backlog standby artists and I already sent out those extra frames to them and I'm really excited. On top of the overwhelming amount of amazing artwork that's in there, there's gonna be even more cool artists that are going to jump in. And as of right now, I still have 15 more open frames, open to the public. Again, first come, first serve. These frames are here waiting for artists to snatch them up. If you want to get in on this, email me at animation at gmail.com and I'll get you in there if I can. I'm still going to be accepting more standby artists and, you know, again, in case anyone 
can't complete their frame. There's still a lot of frames out there floating around, so I might still need more standby artists. So still email me anyway if uh, you don't get it. But uh, this was my one pass that I allow myself. So, uh, so as far as me adding more frames to the animation, uh, I'm done, and uh, we need to get this out. All right, so. On that note, my plan, what I would like to do, is uh, start posting the progress of Artimation. I'm gonna start plugging in random drawings that artists have completed into the animation. When I get around 20% of the drawings in, I'm going to post that. What I have floating in my mind is that it's gonna be this animation where you see the animation playing and these random drawings are gonna start popping in. What I would love is for you guys to share that and uh, get some intrigue with this project. Because at least what's floating in my head is people are gonna look at this and go, geez, what's what's this? It's gonna be kind of weird looking and hopefully we can get some interest behind it. And then once I finally post the final, we'll have this nice audience to uh, check it out. That's just what I have floating around in my head. Whatever really happens, happens. I'm just tickled that so many people, so many great artists, so much great art has been put into this. And that's really what I was looking for it. I'm pretty proud of this baby of ours. And I hope you guys are too. Okay, so uh, as a last little note, if you are an artist participating in this project, feel free to post your drawing on any of your social media. You're more than welcome to do that. If you do, it would be awesome if you linked to the blog so that people can check out all the drawings that are involved. And also, tell me, you can either email me at animation.com or if you are following me on any of my social media, just shoot me a message through there. Tell me where you posted your drawing and I'll be more than happy to reblog it, to share it, to do whatever. You know, I, I want to get as much love out there for Artimation as possible. I'll definitely encourage you guys to share anything Artimation involved, of course, but I know that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's about it. Pretty exciting. So I'll wrap this up by saying thank you. Thank you so much for all your support. If you're one of the artists, thank you so much for your awesome work. Again, I am just floored at how many people joined in, how much great art has been contributed to this project. Now it's just time to see what the final is gonna look like. There's a lot of hoping, there's a lot of like, oh yeah, this is gonna look great, uh, but we'll never know until it's actually done. So that's my next step, is plugging those drawings in and, and seeing what comes out of it. I will be posting the progress on my YouTube, so if you aren't yet, feel free to subscribe and you'll be one of the first to check it out. And if you haven't yet, really check out the blog. Again, it's art animation blogspotcom So many great artists have submitted, but don't take my word for it. Go check it out yourself. And yeah, there's, there's not much else I can say. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Have a good one, guys. Bye.